Yes, Chris and Lindsay. Ainsley Barber was born at 33 weeks with several medical issues. She can't walk and needs her wheelchair to get around. Her mother is on the hunt for a new one, but it comes with a hefty price tag. This is the wheelchair that Ainsley likes. <laughs> $12,181.36 for a customized and motorized wheelchair. It's a lot. It's an astronomical amount. But it's something nine-year-old Ainsley Barber relies on. Those are her legs and that is her freedom. Ainsley's mom, Stacy, says her current wheelchair is falling apart and is malfunctioning. So much that the school bus drivers said they weren't going to be able to transport Ainsley to school with that wheelchair because it's a hazard because it turns on. The purchase is quite a big one, so Stacy reached out for help. The state of Texas has denied her insurance five times, and I think that's where my problem lies. Despite the chair's condition, Blue Cross Blue Shield will not cover a wheelchair-related expense because she does have a chair. They will not budge because she has a pre-existing condition. Stacy says her insurance offered to cover crutches despite Ainsley's inability to walk. She says arguing with Medicaid and Social Security is like ping pong. She just goes back and forth without getting any answers. The system is completely broken. My daughter shouldn't have to wait. Stacy is not giving up. She is going through all the avenues she can to help her daughter, who smiles every time she is able to adventure. I am her voice. You know, and if I don't advocate for my daughter, then nobody's going to. Now, Stacy has an active GoFundMe and says she is thankful for every penny. For Stacy, it's not just about the money, rather how difficult this entire process has been for the family. Stacy has asked for several grants and has written to the governor and encourages other parents in the same boat to do so as well, guys. Yeah, thanks for bringing that to our attention, Cindy. We certainly hope something works out. Thank you. Yes. Let's